Implantology is the branch of dentistry that involves the replacement of the missing teeth that the patient has lost during his life. We can replace them through artificial dental roots called dental implants. Implant designs have evolved considerably all these years, and nowadays the most used are the ones which have a root shape, are made of titanium and are screwed to the bone. We can offer a good, reliable and long-lasting solution that helps to recover the masticatory function that had been lost. We are going to place an implant at the upper central incisor. Previously, a CBCT and a diagnostic wax-up have been made. To prepare the implant bed, we have to follow a sequence of burrs in order to increase its diameter gradually. We start the drilling with a lanceolate burr. This burr is very sharp pointed and it allows us to mark precisely the location of the implant bed. Because it is the upper central incisor area, the implant position has to match the cingulum of the incisor, and we should take care of the adjacent teeth and vestibular bone. We usually drill from 650 to 850 rpm under saline irrigation. In this particular case, as we are working only on a phantom model, we are not going to use any irrigation. We do not need to care a lot about the implant bed angulation at this point, and we are just using the lanceolate burr as a marker. We must drill down to a depth of 1 to 1.5 millimeters in the crestal cortical bone. Once we have reached this depth, we can use the helical burr sequence in order to widen the implant bed diameter. We can use depth stop devices to have the working depth controlled at every moment and to avoid any complications while we are drilling. Once the first helical burr has been used, what we have to do is to remove the drill stop device and change to a bigger helical burr. Then we place the drill stop device again to continue drilling. Now you can see how drilling becomes easier because the implant bed diameter is being increased little by little. The drilling sequence to place an implant of 3.75 mm of diameter ends at the 3.1 mm diameter burr. Remember that we have to make an implant bed with less diameter than the implant in order to achieve a good primary stability. Now we are going to proceed with the implant placement. How are we going to place the implant? We are going to place the implant with the help of an implant adapter, like the one that is mounted on the surgical contra angle or just manually. In the majority of cases, the implant placement is done with a contra angle, which is much more comfortable from my own point of view. We proceed with the implant unpacking. Remember that in a real case, this step must be done by your assistant. Here, you can see the implant and its transporter, and now we are going to collect it with the contra angle.
del blister, lo desechamos. We pull vez, down the blister, and once the implant is picked up with the contra angle, we proceed with its implantation. Vamos a eh, proceder a su colocación antes. Previously, we must reduce the speed of the surgical motor para poder colocar el implante a una to place it slower to control the torque insertion. Y controlando siempre el torque de inserción. Presentamos el implante. En el we insert the implant into its bed. Siempre controlando el paralelismo. Always trying to control the parallelism. With a hexagonal screwdriver, we remove the implant transporter. As you can see, the implant is placed correctly. The emergence profile is correct and keeps the minimum distances between teeth and keeps the minimal bone quantities. Now we place the cover screw of the implant. We can see how it is codified by a color system that makes it easier to identify its diameter, platform and the prosthetic abutments to rehabilitate each case. Todo el arsenal protésico que vamos a necesitar para rehabilitar este caso. We remove the cover screw from its blister and we screw it on the implant connection. If this surgery had been a real case, we would have had to wait a specific healing time period after the implant surgery in order to achieve a bone integration and later on we would have proceeded with the prosthetics.